Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Axiom Verge 2. So last time we acquired another huge upgrade that opens up tons of things. And I absolutely could, and I'm very tempted to, uh, teleport back to all kinds of old places. Like, especially here in the very beginning. Although I suppose I should probably wait until we're actually reunited with our real body, right? Having the whole set of our abilities. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I could do some things. Possibly a lot of things. But um, definitely not everything that I could otherwise do. So, yeah, maybe maybe I should, you know, keep my, my urge to explore in check at least a little bit. And uh, just keep going this way, which probably leads toward progress one way or the other. Uh, also, I noticed that... Let's see. Yeah, okay. I absolutely missed this ledge last time. Because that allows me to get to this uh, up to this ledge here without flutter, so I didn't need that at all. But I'm super glad that I thought I was stuck and ended up getting the flutter, as well as the uh, scanner ability here. What is that actually officially called? Oh, key inimak. Uh, see into the breach. I guess I'll just call it scanner then, or, you know, the thing, or, you know, who knows. Um, also, uh, I guess I'm gonna be able to make Make it back up, right? No problem. We were told about the Kazakh base um, behind the waterfall? Yeah, that makes... Or above the waterfall? Or... I don't know. Either way, it makes sense, I guess. I'm not sure if we want to reach that base now while we're only a drone. I guess... I don't know. I, I think I want to try and make my way toward the coordinates that uh, Lamasu gave us to possibly get our body back. Unless, uh, you know, there's something stopping me. I don't know why, it's really more for, I, I don't know, I guess you could call it role-playing reasons more than anything else. So I feel like it would be, like, well, I mean, it should be Indra's top priority to get her body back, right? Even though she can do a lot of things in her drone form. And I don't really mind playing the, in I wouldn't technically mind playing the entire game as a drone, it works well enough. But, you know, she definitely should have an interest in, uh, Resolving the situation ASAP. And, you know, if nothing else, dealing with the Kazas in whatever way we'll end up dealing with them in her as her true self. Right. The other thing I wanted to mention is that um, the weapon, the new weapon, together with the various damage upgrades that we got, uh, certainly deals significantly, noticeably more damage. So that's really nice. For the first time, I feel like I'm actually, you know, somewhat capable at destroying things. Like, I don't know, how many hits did those uh, small things take before? I don't know, at least six or seven or so, and now it's three. Oh, oh, this one's free. I'll take it. That's a medium one? No, it's a small one. Oh. I keep misjudging. That's okay. One point. At this point, we cannot do anything with. That's fine. Right. So, uh, yeah, this should be the way toward that base. Obviously, possible that I that I'm missing something to reach that base, and I, that I can't even continue that way. But for the aforementioned reasons, I'm just going to go this way. Oh, okay. We would have to explode this. Hmm. To open up a path there. What's underwater? Um, mines. We have seen those before. We've seen these things as well. Got some lore here. Journal entry, suspension bridge, which is where we're headed. Our next project is to be a large bridge, uh, allowing for the transport of machines and weapons to and from what is to be a workshop of sorts in the east. The Lamasu tells us that we will need godly materials that can only be found there. Hmm, a workshop that produces or grants access to godly materials. Huh. Well, we'll see, I suppose, uh, if that bridge is still intact. Mm, I'm very curious as to what these may be. Yeah, same. More machines like the Lamasu itself? For surely they are not of the gods. And surely they are not of the gods? What will we learn from them? Arab Lugal. Why you... Would they not be of the gods? Hmm. Oh, 
see you there. Okay, we got an underwater path. Wonderful. I managed to be almost dead again. So I'm still... Oh. Tricky. I'm still super, super squishy as a drone. But at least I can kill things more quickly than before. So it helps a little bit. Okay. Oh, there's something elaborate going on in the, the other realm. And I really should be scanning on every single screen just in case there is something hidden somewhere. Oh, wait. Oh. M well, maybe. Okay. I mean, I cannot continue this way. We get some help there. That's good. I cannot continue up that way. Um, hold on. I think I can cause these things to drop their cargo. Oh, um, forgetting how to climb momentarily. So these still take a number of hits, but that's okay. Uh, we can grab that. Let's see. Yeah, that's only one. So, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, that's... Yeah. Sometimes some of these shapes look meaningful when they really are not. I kind of want to kill these harmless enemies. These <laughs> harmless, I say, as I take damage immediately. Wonderful. These relatively harmless enemies. You know, for the off chance. For the off chance? Uh, at... at I, I don't know. Just in case they drop health. There we go. Nope. Don't turn around. There was some health. Nice. So, uh, I guess I'll head toward the base after all. I mean, I said I was gonna try and continue east. Until it turned out that I needed some sort of upgrade. Still not entirely sure if these small things are what allow the launchers to shoot. No, I guess that does seem to be the case, right? It's at least up now, so... Oh, except maybe it just reduces their vision range. Oh, there's another one. Maybe that explains that. Get me up here. Yeah, so right now I'm guessing that we'll find... We'll either gain the ability to... Um, to use that same uh, explosion. Oh, okay. Um, he's gonna shoot me dead. Oh, wait, he landed there. Thanks for the help. Come on, come down here, you little, <coughs> little jerk. Okay, um, yeah, so either we'll get basically a version of the same ability that Indra's human form has. To, call, to create that nano explosion at her location to blow things up, or something similar. The drone equivalent of it. Some sort of explosive ability. Oh god. Uh, becoming an arm. To my brother Ludari, I have accepted the NC's offer to become an arm. I know you are against this. Trust me, I have no interest in the Uduk war myself, but I felt I had no choice. Over the years it has become clear to me that the supposed celestial hierarchy represented by the Lamassu is a farce. Ahansur, which it explains as our mother, is a shackle, or rather a giant stone that we are shackled to, dragging us into the depths. There is no there is no Irkala. After death there is nothing, not even blackness. The arms are wheel the arms and wielders at least have the potential for eternal life. They say only a storm bomb can fully destroy them. Yep, so I've heard. Once the ceremony is complete, I will be joined with Magesh, Magesh Getil, a like-minded scholar from our group. They will anoint me Amashilama after the goddess. Oh, okay. Wow. Elutil. Oh, Elutil became Amashilama. I forget which texts exactly were written, were written by her, but... Okay. I wish you would join me. There is no telling what may happen if any of to any of us in this war. I do not want to lose you. Hmm. So did Ludari choose the same conversion? To undergo the same conversion? Maybe not. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. I mean... Oh, there's another one of those small uh, tombstones or whatever. It's not a tombstone, probably just some sort of stone. Uh, that we saw all the way in the far west. Um, maybe we can uh, input that same little sequence there and something will happen. But that's just a, an easter egg, right? Uh, anyway, it's interesting that um, the other side reveals, you know, uh, or the view into the breach revealed the tunnel here. Uh, that is actually just another power matrix, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Not amazing, but uh, I mean, it's only as useful as, uh, you know, as the availability of, of power cells allows. And those are not available everywhere. What's happening here? Uh, left, right, left, right, up, up, up. Left, right, left, right, up, up, up. Yeah, didn't think so. There's nothing else in the walls, right? Nothing obvious, anyway. Okay, uh, we have seen all of this room. Up here was another breakable barrier. Oh, okay. Nice. We destroy those nice and quick. I like it. Also, regaining some health. Oh, what? Where'd you come from? Crap. <laughs> With the overlay, I couldn't really see much. Oh, okay. Good thing I checked this out. Although, this is actually the way we need to go. Alright, so... Let's quickly take a look at the whatever is to the left. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll take that. Anything in interesting we can see here? Actually, that's just a lower section of this long shaft. Okay. Interesting. And I guess this is just all solid material on, on the breach side. That is, I think, the, possibly the first organic enemy. Or maybe it wasn't an enemy, maybe it's just an animal. No, it's definitely... Well, I mean, I can attack it, but I can't hack it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like a robot. But it's actually, like, yeah, fighting in and out of existence, or... in and out of this dimension. Interesting. Um, okay. Ah, right. This is the Kazakh base, presumably. At least these are the coordinates that we've been given. However, we've also heard from a Kazakh that they actually left, or the rest of them, most of them, all of them, who knows, left uh, through another portal somewhere to yet another universe. Um, so there's probably not going to be anyone here. Just, uh, you know, maybe for the better. So I guess I didn't really need to worry about first contact and uh, Indra having her body back by then. Okay, well then, let's check out what we can, what we will find in here. Radar isn't showing anything, so... So yep, these are just weird ghost-like things. Maybe they are from another dimension and they can naturally shift back and forth. Well, we have another Ansible here. Enough BS, Hammond. Where is my daughter? In detention. She needs you. Go to upstream port sector 4320. You've got some nerve using my daughter like this. She is safe but needs fix ASAP. End of message. Someone's really asking for an ass kicking. <laughs> well, yeah, Indra's uh, kind of sick of, of Hammond's bullshit. Uh, understandably. Okay, um... I don't have a great feeling about entering another one of these uh, freight elevators. I mean, this is that's basically how this whole mess started. 
Wasn't there something something else above? Hold on. No, I guess not. Okay. I thought there was another door, but it's really only the one. Okay. Just double checking there's nothing useful in there or in here. Oh god. <laughs> Zero visibility, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I mean I guess I I have to. Maybe that other universe is uh, not going to be super huge. Not a, not a map as large as as Kiangir. Hmm. The emergence. I guess the good news is that this elevator probably works properly in both directions. Overworld. The emergence. Oh, I cannot switch maps. Okay, so this one might not have a direct connection to uh, to the breach either. There are save points. They look a bit different. So yeah, maybe this is just going to be a, its own thing, and at the end, I'm going to... Oh, the, the radar does show, or the amulet, I guess. Basically a radar. Hmm. Does show some sort of urn somewhere nearby. Rel relatively nearby, within detection range. And needless to say, we won't be making, uh, we won't be returning the way we came. I guess the scan is not going to be useful here. It's only going to hinder our vision. Uh, those don't look like Kazas. Maybe these are Sagiga. Although one of the researchers said that, the, or some document maybe said that the Kazas didn't even they didn't look the same. They weren't dressed the same. So I don't know. What curious creature is this? Ah, yeah, I used to be a normal human. I had an unfortunate encounter with some nanotech. I'm trying to find my way back to Antarctica. I see. Oh. Okay, so those really are Kazas. In uh, weird, non-Earth non non clothing, I would say. Um, I see. My, my name is Jansaya uh, Korshunova, but you can call me Druska. I think that's friend. Right? No, that's... So I don't know. What is this place? We call this place the Emergence. Most of those from Sagimbayev Station migrated here. All right. Unfortunately, the portal you took here is not physically capable of returning you to Earth. No. Also, well, the portal is physically capable of returning me to Kiangir, though. I just can't reach it right now. But there has to be a way, even if I have to build a whole new portal. We found evidence that the people in Kiangir, the world you came from, were not alone. The people. You mean the, the original inhabitants of Sagiga. There are some ruins in the east that are so advanced as to defy explanation. Okay, that's where they were supposed to build that bridge to. Um, ordered by Lamasu, because Lamasu wanted whatever was sitting there, I guess. If you can find your way in there, perhaps there is something that can help. That's my hope, yeah. Oh, we'll see if that works out. Hmm. So, why are you behind that barrier? A woman came by here earlier, bearing nanomachines. She thought to threaten us. Hammond, I guess? Or, wait. I mean, we don't know that Hammond is using nanojacks, nanojack arms, I guess. But I suppose that would make sense. Um, or they're talking about Amashilama in my body, but probably not. Maybe. I don't know. The barrier is a precaution to keep her from entering the emergence. That was Amashilama. Okay. She's the one who did this to me. This may be hard to believe, but she took my original body, though I intend to get it back. It is not so hard to believe. Separation of mind from body is one of our goals in the emergence. One day, I hope to leverage that same technology for the good of our people. Why are you out here in this chamber and not with your people? The supreme purpose of life is evolution, but our lifetimes are too short to perceive it. However, in the emergence, time passes differently. In the chamber behind us, for example, is a doorway we call a time valve. Beyond it, time moves faster. That is where we have settled. For some of us, it has been decades since we arrived. I come here periodically to pass the time faster. This way I can steer the advancements of humanity on a long-term scale. Um, wait. 
You mean you come here out of the out of the chamber where the time passes faster? So the time passes slower for you actually. Right? You, you come here periodically to pass the time faster. That seems backwards, but I'm I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just not following. Uh, this one I can see the advancement of humanity on a long-term scale. I mean, it would make sense for her not to be in that accelerated time chamber, right? But to to observe from the outside and you know direct them, and and see how they actually evolve in their accelerated time while she stays alive and basically witnesses decades and centuries passing for them. Well, I don't know. That that's how it would make sense to me. So she just waits out here while everyone she knows grows old? Yeah, okay, so that is that is what you meant. It must feel like when I was in that urn all those years, everyone is gone now. Hmm, all those years, yeah, that was... That must have been a very long time, right? We're talking millennia here. Do you know anything else that can help me? Perhaps, some time back we found an urn of nanotech. It was of no use to us, but maybe it can help you. Why was it not of no use to you? Is it only certain people that who are compatible? Or, huh, I guess, apparently, back in the day, there were the wielders who were somehow chosen or something, I don't know, maybe they just needed to volunteer. Hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks. It's actually to the, somewhere toward, somewhere in your direction, according to my compass. I guess I'll find it. We left it in, uh, we left it in one of the chambers above us, if I remember correctly. Yep, that seems about right. That is very useful, thank you. I mean, it would be even more useful if you actually had it with you and could just give it to me, but, you know, I'll take whatever help I can get. No, okay, that's it. That's that, I suppose. Well, okay, that's a few more questions answered, I suppose. What? You're not hostile? Okay. If you say so. I really need to stop doing that. I really don't think there is going to be any use in doing so. Oh, you, uh, you are big. And you're also obviously robotic, and I cannot seem to hack you. Not that I would. I also can talk you, talk you, talk to you, or attack you. The latter of which is probably to my advantage. That's also a gigantic portal thingy, or, you know, tube to the right there. Uh, this is fascinating. Huh. Okay. Wait. Can't I actually just do this? What? what? Why? Why didn't you? I swear I pressed the button. Okay. That's That should be very doable. That way I should be able to just go to where the Kazos are. I wonder if they're going to be gone when I get to the side of the, of the barrier. There we go. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I guess I thought of that, but I will take this. Thank you. Another one. How many points is that? Four, uh, three? Four, actually. Wow. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'll take the next attack upgrade here. Is that really that much faster? I suppose. Hmm. I might be able to... Mm. Do this. Nice, nice. <laughs> I know I said I shouldn't do it, but I, don't know. I feel like maybe in one of these... Oh. Well, that's not an urn. Or is it? Actually, oh no, never mind it is. It just looked weird. Imduk Beer. Hold the button to charge up your slingshot when hooked. Release to launch at your foes. Wait, hold the button to charge up your slingshot when hooked. Oh! Okay, so now holding the button does something. I guess that's why even when while you even when you don't have that ability yet, it allows you to hold. Interesting. And that, okay. I mean, it doesn't exactly seem like I would have enough, you know, force behind me to, to actually break through a solid rock like that, but... Okay, sure. That works, I guess. Nice. Well, kind of nice because, yeah, okay. <laughs> I will insist on breaking every last one of those. What the hell is going on here? 
No, seriously, <laughs> what is that? Just a graphical glitch, I'm, I'm guessing, but is that... I don't know. <laughs> Leftover from, from my own graphic? The graphic of me spinning in place? I don't know. Anyway, I guess I have what I came here for. At the very least, I can break through these now. And we've seen those all over the place, so that's really good. I wonder if that's... If I'll also be able to break through um, other things that I used to be able to break with Indra's explosion ability. Or if it's strictly for these grey rocks. Okay. Well, I suppose with that we've completed the loop, and there really isn't much to do here, unfortunately. Uh, there was this. There is this incredibly fascinating room here. It's uh, kind of sad that we that I can't seem to really do anything with that. I wish there were something to do with it, but you know, I guess not every mystery must be solvable. You know what? I'm. I'm gonna stop being silly and not insist on breaking every single rock because that's just a little silly. Okay, well, I guess we're out of here. At least we did get that very useful ability. <clears throat> oh god. Should I just start backtracking immediately to open up all of those places that I can open now? Also, do we actually. Have a light like this? Oh, I totally do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Stupid jellyfish thing. I mean, there's obviously one over here. Of course, these actually require us to have um, to have a ledge to grab onto, and so we can slingshot ourselves into them. I hope that's. Not going to be a problem for any for any of them. Hey you, why don't you start firing at me? Then out. Okay, never mind. I guess I I think I was right. Oh, no. they really cannot shoot like straight down. So when I'm standing inside of them, they can't really do anything to me. Okay, switch to this. Check out here. Hmm. Well, one thing we can probably do is make those uh, those kinds of rocks fall, so there's that. The question is, wouldn't making that fall actually cover the, uh, the capsule there, the flask? So that's, uh, that wouldn't be a bad thing, really. Hmm. Weird. Oh, wait. That finally connects here. Okay, so we open that up, but I mean, we can't really go anywhere immediately. Unless... What is up with this? How does that help? Or does it help in any way? Huh. I'm just knowing that there is a... a portal in that wall somehow. It doesn't really seem to do anything for me. It's not like we can reach it. Hmm. Okay. Strange. Okay, just because I'm here, I'm gonna take one quick look. Oh no. Those things. Huh, even those are not that much of a problem anymore. Hmm. Yeah, well, there's a... Okay. That makes sense. I'm not sure why the map displayed this portal, despite it being a hidden one. You know, before I ever revealed it. Also, still have no idea how to possibly reach that. Do I? Unless there's somehow a way... Through here. Hmm. 
I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, there's there are things I could probably reach up there, up that way. Uh, maybe I should I should probably try and look for a, a safe point around here so I can return there easily before I you know stray too far away from where I'm probably where I probably need to go. Yeah, these things remain mysterious, and I guess that's okay. Probably just a matter of, you know, playing more and finding some kind of ability that makes this all make sense. Make, makes this make sense? I, I guess. Uh, well, we obviously cannot hack that from the side. Oh. Weird thing. Okay, thanks for the help. Ah, okay. Wait, I cannot grab the ledge that's on. No, I have to use this one. No problem, actually. Um, right, Anuna Gorge. That's the next area. I guess there was a uh, there was a rock barrier down here, right? Oh, there's that too. Hmm. I wonder. Ow. Don't. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I think I, I actually do need Indra's explosion ability to make those kinds of rocks fall, as expected. Oh, wait. That means that I can't actually continue this way. Oh, interesting. Huh. Wait, how else would I, would I go this way then? I guess maybe I continue up and around this way. Huh. Okay, so the green one is I guess it's yeah, it's color coded that way, huh? Like this uh, teal color for for Lamasu's instructions or directions and the green for Hammond via the the Ansibles. Okay. I think there was something breakable up here, huh? Maybe past here as well? I mean, okay, there are obviously plenty of different ways. I'm just surprised that I cannot continue in a straight line here. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised, though. That's certainly not the first time that kind of thing has happened. Um, I do want to check this out. Because those... Uh, actually, I'm not sure. That might be a situation where... Uh, well, um... This location here is a is a wall that has some crumbly blocks that uh, I thought needed Indra's explosion, but of course uh, those I might I might I might be able to slingshot. It's just I'm just not sure if the layout of the room allows me to actually charge a slingshot there. Uh, but I do want to try it. So I guess since I basically need to look for another way somewhere else anyway, might as well give that a try. Oh, we can. We can open this here. Oh, th yeah, this, that's a, another path forward. Possibly forward. What's that? Let's open that real quick. While we're here. Oh, wait. Is that even... I guess you can't do that. Right, you have to be standing, basically. do have to charge long enough and you just can't do that while you're falling which makes sense here I go again <laughs> insisting on destroying all of those okay I, I'm actually gonna make my way over here off camera um, you know just because it's a bit of a of a walk and um, there might not even be a way to do anything so uh, in that case of course I'm gonna look for something else to do instead there should be no shortage of possible paths yeah, it is as I feared. There is just no convenient ledge, I suppose. Unless you can do something crazy. Wait, what the hell was that? Okay. You maybe... Oh. Oh, never mind. Maybe? Oh, I can't quite... Hmm. 
Oh, that's so mean. <laughs> I can't double jump or anything or extend it in any way that I can tell. Yeah, and I absolutely have to try and go like as vertically as possible. If I try to go from here, I just don't get the the distance necessary. Hmm. I don't think. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate, but uh, we'll just return later and blow that up when we can. Hmm. Where should I try looking? I think I might be able to get through here and then maybe into this space. And you never know where where there is something potentially useful to find. We do have a purple uh, indicator on our compass pointing roughly in that direction. Well, more upward, I suppose, than sideways. Ah, okay. I actually saw the turret hiding there. Right. Thought I remembered one of these. That allows us to open the way here. Oh, okay. And it allows us access to that as well. Finding plenty of skill points. So the medium one. Let's see here. Again, five points. I mean, I guess I could go for more health again. Some... Oh, wait, what? Oh, charge time. Hmm. Is that that useful, though? Is that just for using it offensively? It's probably pretty pretty damaging, but uh, I don't know. I don't know maybe, maybe I'm going to go for maximum infection range? Yeah, I think. I think I want that first. It's interesting, though. Oh, right, okay. That's a, a new way. Exactly what I was talking about. Uh, can we go anywhere down from here? Maybe. Nothing here in the breach. Okay. Fair enough. I'm not going to go down there. It's just going to cause me to fall. Uh, hold on. That looks suspicious, but... Apparently... Can I grab onto this ledge? Oh, wait. Oh. Nothing there, I guess. Okay, well then, let's uh, check this out. Is that a new type of enemy? No, it's just one of those. Wait, unless... Does it look different, actually? I'm not sure. Not that threatening anymore, though. Either way. Oh, we got another nice mural. Oh, that's... That interesting-looking weapon that I saw. Is that a Shamshir or something? Oh, just a sickle sword. Okay. Uh, trades damage for speed. As in... I mean, it's still pretty pretty good damage, I want to say. Cooldown is quite low. Huh. Only slightly slower than the dagger, but a lot more damage. Plus it probably has a better attack range, right? Or at least I would expect it to. Really not sure if that dagger is particularly useful. Hmm, wait. How do we enter... We gotta enter from up there. But uh, something must have stopped me. Hmm. I thought there was some, some sort of one-way barrier that needed to be opened from the other side or something. So I've obviously been to that room, but I could not have reached that chamber. Well, so I'll have to double-check that. Oh, wait. Portal? Oh, I didn't see that. Where exactly is that? Is that in there? I guess? Oh yeah, it is. Hmm. 
Right. Oh yeah, I suppose the, the, the map does not show a transition at all. Okay. Oh yeah, and the breach? On the breach side you could fall through there. Wait. Is it just a matter of... Nope. Not a portal here. Not that easy. Hmm. I have... Oh, wait. Oh. So there is something there. Wait, can I... Actually, I cannot travel from from the real world to uh, to the breach via teleport. I guess that makes sense. Um, okay, so where's the next portal? I guess there's one up there. Oh no, that's the. Never mind. That's a blocked off section. <sighs> okay, what was in there? I guess I'm going to end the episode soon, but just want to check out that real quick. Yeah, that's an exit portal. Right, that had some sort of minor upgrade. here that leads there. I guess that's where I want to go, basically, to reach that. Yeah, maybe I'm just going to do that before I end the episode. That seems good enough. Um, can I... It's the fastest way is to go the original way, huh? In fact, that's... I think that's literally just along this path and... Up there. Yep. Did I not have the scanner at this? No, I had. I, I did? I think? Maybe? I'm not sure, actually. I probably just forgot to use it. Wasn't in the habit of using it at every suspicious looking dead end yet. There we go. That's all it was. Although there is also that. <laughs> That little dead end to the bottom left from here. Is there any kind of reason to ever be there? Who knows? Huh. Suspicious empty space. Hmm. Possibly reachable from the breach version of this room. Similar to this little enclosed space. Okay. Um... I guess I could just keep backtracking my way, the way that I originally took down to to reach Erikar and all this lower section here, and you know, use uh, the scan to look for for portals and to look for things that I couldn't do. It looks like there's still a barrier active there, or maybe that just never disappears from the map. Yeah, I think barriers, you know, just those few pink pixels indicating barriers that used to be there. Yeah, yeah, okay. They just don't go away. Never mind then. There's something up. Oh, hmm. Okay, I, I I know I said I was gonna end the episode right then and there, but one more thing, just because I currently remember. Oh. I want to save here, and I just want to see if I can do anything with these things. What would I be able to do? I guess. Um, Oh, it doesn't look like you can break through them like that. Nope. Sure can't. Okay. So those are still impenetrable. That's a shame. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I will eventually be able to dissipate into a nano nanomachine mist and just, uh, you know, drift through. Oh, uh, you're new. What the... Wait, that's... Don't tell me that's... Uh, what's her face? Has she turned into that monstrosity? I mean, it looks at least partially mechanical. But, I mean, she did say that she wasn't feeling right, feeling good, right? And now this thing is here. Yikes. Uh, okay, that's unpleasant. 
I really hope that's not going to happen to everyone around here. But I have a feeling like it probably will. You know, that's how these things typically tend to go. Okay, anyway, um, we're up here now. I guess I'm going to yeah, see how, how far I can look around. Check out some parts of these surrounding areas that I wasn't able to reach before. Maybe check out a little bit more of the underside of this. Stretching this this branch-like structure here. This we'll see. I might be able to actually, yeah, uh, hover across and to the other side of this pillar. You know that kind of thing. Should probably be able to scale the, the wall that was here and get to the other side of this mountain. Maybe I'm even going to start exploring around here. Hmm. Yeah. Well, there is still this path that I think I can take that might loop around this way and get me to the suspension bridge area. This was inaccessible, this was inaccessible. There are these underwater areas that I could check out. Actually, the upper section of the lake. I'm not really sure if I can really get there, though. I can't really jump a lot higher than I used to, so maybe not. But, I mean, there are definitely plenty of places to check out. don't even remember what this place was all about. Oh, and another reminder for myself, finally go and pick up this weapon here. It's, holy crap, it's been way too long. I can just easily enough go there and pick that up. It's just sitting there. Okay, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, now finally I'm gonna end the episode. Sorry for that last bit of rambling, but you know. Um, it's uh, sometimes important to plan ahead, even if none of those plans typically come to pass, but you know. Anyway, um, as, for, as always, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.